Today, I'm gonna to show you how to digitize videotapes with this. What's happening, Panzer Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, this is a VHS tape. It's kind of like a giant cassette. We used to record things to it, video, film, movies, and then play the Mac. And something like this, called a videotape player. I would say this is like a video cassette. But if you're not old enough to remember what VHS is, you probably don't know what cassettes are either. But for a lot of people, we have these types of things hanging around, tapes just like this. They might have home movies on them, important events, happy memories, whatever it might be. And if you have these, these are gonna degrade over time. They're probably not super easy to play for many of us. Even if you have something like this, it might not plug into the type of TV that you have. So one of the things that I wanted to do was take all of the cassettes that were like this and take anything that's off of it and digitize it so that I can easily share it, review it, see if it's worth keeping. So I picked up this. This is a Digit Now full media recorder. This is kind of what you need, I think, to be able to convert these things. It's kind of a slow and analog process. So basically what you're going to do here, in theory I think, is play the cassette in here, output it instead of to a TV, output it to this little media recorder that you get right here. It's amazing how small this thing is. And you will just kind of play it and it will capture everything that it's playing. The video, the audio, all of that on a SD card potentially what you can put in there. You have a mini USB plug right on the other side, a reset button on this side, small little plastic device here. And then it looks like we have play pause up here, rewind and forward buttons, volume up and down. We have menu mode record. But the most important thing right here is that we have the RCA plugs right here that most VCRs will use. We also have an HDMI out and an AV out. So once you put your stuff on here, potentially you could watch them on a regular TV right from this device by controlling it here. Now we do have a little screen right there and I'm curious if this is a little LCD screen that we can monitor what's playing. Take the plastic off. Much nicer looking little device there. So we get this device. That's going to be the workhorse of this. We get a plug here with a USB port on it. We get some other adapters and depending on the hardware that you have, you might need this. Looks like this kind of plugs into the back of like a VCR or something like that. In or out, looks like we can have it go two different ways. We get a variety of RCA cables, including the ones that go to a four pole plug here. We have a mini USB plug here for power, I think. We also get an HDMI cable, which is actually pretty nice. We also get the video grabber manual, which I will just kind of quickly peruse. And then the last thing I'll say here is we get a CD-ROM. So hopefully I won't need this, but it also is kind of funny that they still include this stuff. Let's get transferring. So I think you'll find it pretty straightforward to set up. I have my VCR set up here. Interestingly, nobody has VCRs. I haven't had a VCR in years. So I actually went on eBay and I paid like $39 for this. And then I went to uh, my local thrift shop and they had like a stack of VCRs and they were like, help yourself, they're free. So wish I'd known that, would have saved me a couple bucks. But nonetheless, I've got this old beat up used VCR here that I probably spent more on now than the original owners did when it was new. But I've got it plugged in and then I'm using these RCA cables. It's kind of left and right audio and video out. There's another bay right here and that's in. You obviously want that out like it was outputting to a television and this is gonna be your new television. Now I will say right here on the TF card slot, what I didn't realize is that it has a four gigabyte card already installed there. So it's kind of nice because it comes with that, which is kind of cool. So I've got these RCA cables plugged into the uh, respective ports right there at the mini USB cord plugged into power. So I'm going to plug that in here. Now I'm going to hit the power button right here and look at that. It's coming on and we do have a little blue digital screen, which is pretty awesome. And look at that. It auto plays when it goes in there and I can actually hear from the speaker in the rear. Oh, look at that. And I can see my old house playing right there. So what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and rewind the tape, play it, and then hit the record button right up here and just record everything to the iRecord. Now I will say that this is analog to digital. So what you have to do is you have to let the whole tape play. So if you're trying to convert a two hour VHS tape or a home movie or something like that, you're gonna have to sit here and wait. I think really just press record and then come back and check it a little later. And that's where the editing software is probably gonna come in handy if you have a lot of dead air that you wanna edit out. I'm pretty excited. I'm gonna go ahead and play this and we will see what the results are. Oh, no, I 
So what's cool is this is truly like a little TV and you can adjust the volume right here as you're monitoring it. But as soon as you start playing or even before you start playing on the VCR, you wanna hit this record button. You can see it's recording right up there and it just plays. Like I said, it's gonna take as long as the video plays, but there I am, booyah. And once it's done, you'll be able to take out the TF card, put it on your computer and we'll check those out. But what's pretty cool is that it looks like the TF card that they include here will record up to four hours. So I think that's pretty good, especially for, you know, VHS tapes were, which were like 60 minutes. I guess this one says T30, it's only like 30 minutes. 60 minutes, 120 minutes. So you'll be able to convert a few of those before you run out of space and we'll have to copy them off to the hard drive, but pretty awesome. So I converted a handful of home videos and this is the raw output of the recorder. So I'm actually pretty happy with it. I didn't do any cropping. I didn't do any contrast or exposure or color editing. I just wanted to show you what it converted to the device itself. Now on the device, it does have some controls to adjust the exposure and brightness and things like that. I didn't play with any of those. I just recorded it straight off the tape um, I'm not sure if there's degradation in the image quality from when it was recorded. I'm assuming that there is to some extent, but I am actually surprised at how good it looks. Now, I think I can brighten some of the stuff up and, you know, get some of the tint off of it in post later. But I also kind of remember that old TV shows and old videos are pretty poor quality. I will also say that uh, there is a date stamp down in the bottom corner, and that is just the default that comes on the device itself. I did find in the settings on the iRig that you can remove that. So unless you want to timestamp it from when this recording was taken, I don't know that it makes a lot of sense to have the current date and time on there because, well, it's not really relevant to the video itself. But it is a really easy way to convert your old VHS tapes into digital format, you know, upload them to YouTube, uh, email them out to friends, you know, be able to review them, see them on demand, be able to share them, be able to archive them without further losing quality on them. So I really think this is a pretty inexpensive way to convert these to digital. Now you can send these out. There are a variety of companies where you can send out your video. They'll do them themselves and then send you the files back. But if you don't want to do that, maybe you have private videos, maybe you're worried about inventorying them and putting the right date and times on them. Maybe you want to see the results right away. Maybe you have a lot of videos and it's just not going to make sense based on the quantity of videos that you have. This is a cool way to do it at home. So I'll put a link to the device to convert them in the description below. Peter Ron Panda out. I'm going to show you how to digitize videotapes 